I just figured while I'm out here, I might as well just do the uh, quick rundown on our solar. So let's go take a quick look at this. Behind this panel here, which is just a protector for uh, road debris, it's just some foam and the sh shower surround covering that. I mean, it, this is hinged, and then I put a uh, small piece of PVC that holds that on an angle. There's no point in uncovering that because we all know what the solar panel looks like. I'll give you the specs once I get in here with my cheat sheet because I've got the memory of a gnat. But this is what it is. My batteries right now are a little low. 25.3. Yeah. These two wires here that are dangling, it's probably hard to see in here, those are what I use to charge when this thing's in the garage. Batteries get low, I just use an AC charger. This dimmer here runs to the interior light because of the way it's facing. It's right in your face, and that little sucker's bright. But I can dim that way down. Up there, there'd be, it'd be up there. I guess you can kind of see it there is green LEDs back behind that. So that's a pretty dim light. The one down at the bottom, that's the butt converter. That runs the LEDs up there. This, if I can get over here, just a standard uh, cigarette lighter on that side and uh, USB ports on that side. The charge controller has two 12 volt plugs there and a couple more USB. Hey, how's our heater doing? 131 degrees. Hey. All right, there's really nothing to look at while I read this off, but let me give you some quick numbers here. The panels, there are two 45 watt monocrystalline panels. They're 36 volts, so they're 24 volt nominal. The open circuit, in case you're interested in that, is 43.6 volts. This charge controller is the same as that one. It's just a slight change in design here. This is still a CMG 2420, 20 amp PWM controller. What else we got here? That small step down converter there, I've got a couple of those. I'm only using one right now. There's one in, in the inside of the box, and that one is a 24 volt to 12 volt 10 amp step down converter, which runs these sockets here in the front. Uh, let's see, the variable voltage there, that, like I said, is running the uh, LEDs up above or anything else I want to hook to there. What else I got written down here? The batteries, there's eight all together. And they are small 12 volt, 12 amp hours. They're all wired in series and parallel. That only gives me 24 volts at 48 amp hours, so I still only have 24 amp hours of usable power, but this in here is basically just going to run. I have a very small TV. There's a table that actually hooks up above the footwell. It'll run that, maybe charge the radio or anything else like that. I, I quit smoking, so I vape. But a lot of this stuff, I have some folding panels that we'll also be using, so this isn't going to supply the power for everything. So we can still charge a phone or a tablet or something on this. So we don't really need much. We don't need an inverter or any of that stuff. And see, I do have the AC power to see voltmeters. Yeah, there really isn't much on there. And I got another 24 volt. The switch here, there's a small 24 volt fan, fan there. I may not leave that on. I put that on first and then we went out and got this. We used this during Hurricane Irma and that little sucker will run all night long and then still have battery power left. So we're probably just going to use that. Small oscillating 12 volt one. That one just has a short cord that plugs into the front of the charge controller. So very, very small system. Now, we don't need much. Let's see if I can get around down here on my knees here. We don't need much here. I said just to charge a phone or a tablet or something. And I said with the other solar panels that we have, you know, for we use for cycle touring, we still have those. Well, that thing's still cranking out a little bit of heat. And you know, we have a socket on the outside. Let's see if I can get out here. I showed this in another video, I'm sure. But there is a socket back in the galley running 12 volt. This one here will run the uh, 12 volt shower, which will be set up on this corner of the trailer. So, yeah. Very, very small system. I can't remember how many 
amps I can get out of this, but at 24 volts, hey, you're talking 90 watts, that's probably only maybe 2.8 amps or something. It's very small, but just very small. I got four batteries here in the front, which will go onto the e-bikes when we need to use the bikes. If not, it powers the trailer. And like I said, there's four right next to the uh, water tank in there. Super micro trailer, super micro solar system. Next time I build one, I'm probably gonna go with an entire 12 volt system, but I also have another charge controller. It's a boost converter, which I can take this 24 volts and I can run it clear up to 90. So if for some reason I happen to have something that runs on 72 volt batteries, either a different e-bike or you know, different power tools or something, I can just swap that out real quick or just wire it in temporarily and charge up to 72. And with these butt converters, I can draw them down as low as 1.3. So this thing pretty much can do power from anything from 1.3 clear up to 90 volts. So it's just not very many amps, but it should be enough for us. All right, that gives you a, oops, sorry about that. That gives you a, a quick overview of that. All right, later guys.